parents love to mull over their soon-to-be-born babies, discussing all that the baby should be. Soon, all the wishes of the would-be parents might actually come true. What I'm going to share with you might sound like the plot of a science fiction movie, but it is really happening. Yes, we are talking about designer babies. German biotechnologist Hashem Algaili, who owns Ectolife, has developed an artificial womb facility for artificially reproducing genetically engineered lab babies. Babies who would have every trait handpicked by the parents from inception till birth. Hashem claims this is especially a good option for women who surgically got their wombs removed due to cancer or for some other reason and those women who do not wish to undergo a c-section the IVF process or even surrogacy he also feels that this could immensely help countries with a declining population this facility has life-sized pods with artificially developed BB fetuses developing within them the fetuses are enveloped in artificially creating amniotic fluid which is rich in vital hormones growth factors and antibiotics to sustain the baby's growth and development. Each group of pods is connected to two central bioreactors which contain oxygen supplied to the baby through an artificial umbilical cord. Stacked in large packs and numbered chronologically, these pods would remind one of the sci-fi movie The Matrix. But the baby lab could soon become a reality. It also introduces an elite package with a menu card for the parents to choose the hair, skin and even eye color of the baby. It will also help carry out genetic corrections in case of any inherited health disorders. The only thing left is building a prototype by combining all the features into a single device. The researchers involved claim that this facility will facilitate the birth of super smart babies as the best of the traits of both the parents will be charted out and engineered into the developing fetus. The facility can grow up to 30,000 babies a year. While the facility does make for a big scientific achievement, there are many questions that are not yet answered. What about the natural way of life? What about the original nature of the babies? Wouldn't the babies get stifled under the burden of the best parental traits? What about the wider chasm this will create between those who can afford the traits on the menu card and those who will probably not even get to see it? What happens to the theory of natural selection? And what could be the unintended consequences of it all? While Hashem claims to have attained almost complete scientific knowledge involved in this process, he says right now the testing is not allowed to go beyond 14 days on human embryos. Subject to the easing of these restrictions, the biotechnologist says in 10 to 15 years time, these lab facilities are likely to open worldwide. We will just have to wait and watch till then how this facility is going to redefine Darwin's theory of survival of the fittest.